There's been recent developments for GunCon 2 support on Mister. While it's not complete yet, you can try it out for yourself if you're willing to do a little work. This support will let you use a GunCon 2 light gun on multiple cores. The GitHub mentions support for the NES, Master System, Super NES, Genesis, and PlayStation cores. After I heard about the support, I quickly ordered a GunCon 2. The eBay listing I got it from just listed the GunCon, but when it arrived, it also included a nice bonus. A copy of Time Crisis 3. Anyway, let me show you how to set this up. I'm only going to try the 8 and 16-bit console cores. I'm not going to try out the PlayStation core with this yet because it seems there's more effort involved. And also the core's analog support isn't finished. Big thanks to Nolan Nicholson for implementing GunCon 2 support. It's so much more convenient to use one light gun with different cores instead of having to use each core's native light gun. Remember, this is early support, so it might not work well, and it's likely that things will change. When official support is added, I will create an update video. So let's begin. Okay, so let's go over the requirements first. You'll need a Namco GunCon 2, along with its included T adapter. According to the GitHub, compatible and clone light guns should also work. A standard definition TV is required, and you also need to go to the project's GitHub and download the Mr. file and the Z image underscore DTB file. Check the description for the GitHub link. With the requirements out the way, let's start the setup. On your Mr.'s SD card, back up the current Mr. Executable. It should be located in the media forward slash fat folder. I'm going to rename it to Mr. underscore backup. Then copy over the Mr. file you downloaded from the GitHub onto the same location as the backup file. Next, go into the Linux folder, rename the Z image underscore DTB file to Z image underscore DTB underscore backup. Then copy over the Z image underscore DTB file you downloaded from the GitHub to that same directory. Now it's time to plug in the GunCon 2. Take the yellow RCA cable from the gun and connect it to the T adapter on the side with two RCA inputs. Either input will work. On your CRT, unplug the yellow composite video cable from the TV's video port. This is the cable that your mister is outputting analog video with. If you're using component video, then unplug the green cable instead. Take that cable and plug it to the other end of the T cable. The other end of the T cable only has one input that you can plug it to. Then take the T cable and plug it back into the yellow video port of the television or the green port if you're using component. Now on the GunCon 2, take its USB cable and plug it into a free USB port on your Mr. FPGA. For RGB users, the GitHub mentions, if you are using RGB, you need to be using composite sync and the gun needs to be tapped into the composite sync signal. If you are using RGB with sync on green enabled, the green line should also work. Now, either turn on your Mr. FPGA or reboot it so the new files we copy can take effect. On the Mr., you now need to define the gun's buttons. So go to the Define Joystick Buttons menu and set them up. Set the buttons however you want to. When you're done defining controls, you can calibrate the gun by hitting F10 on your keyboard. This calibration screen only detected my up and down movements. The instructions say to point to the edge of the screen. I'm not sure what edge it means, but what I did is point to the top of the screen and hit the trigger. Okay, so let's load up a core now. I realized that the core setup is the exact same way as setting up a Wiimote. So I'll show you how to set up the NES core, and for other cores, I'll point you to my video for setting up a Wiimote on the Master System, Genesis, and Super NES. Just treat the GunCon as a Wiimote. Okay, so load up the NES core. First, define the GunCon buttons. Set the buttons however you want, except when asked for the zapper slash valves button, make sure you press the GunCon's trigger. Do not press the trigger for other buttons. When the buttons are defined, go to the core's input options. Under Periphery, select Zapper Joy 1. If you have another controller plugged in, 
you may have to change this to Joy 2. While the GitHub says that the gun con acts like a mouse, it states that it's better to treat it as a joystick. Now move down to the zapper trigger setting and set it to joystick. Finally, leave the crosshair on. This will let you know things are working. Now you can just go back and load a light gun game. And you can see it's working because the crosshair is moving. It's time to show you the games I tested. So of course, I have to try out Duck Hunt. The light gun feels really accurate. When I point at an area at the screen, it's exactly where I expect it to be. The next game I tried was Safari Hunt on the Sega Master System. And that game also worked with no issues. Now onto the 16-bit systems. First game up was Lethal Enforcers 2 for the Genesis. Again, worked just fine, but the crosshair was a bit jumpier than the other cores. Not enough to deter my enjoyment though. Finally, I tried the Super NES core, and this one gave me issues. In Operation Thunderbolt, pointing the gun would move around player 2's crosshair, but firing the trigger would be the player 1's trigger. I was able to move player 1's crosshair with a D-pad on the gun con though. I also experienced issues with Revolution X, where the super scope wasn't detected. In T2 the arcade game, the trigger was not the action I expected, it would shoot missiles instead of the machine gun, but aiming was just fine. Bazooka Blitzkrieg did work perfectly. So those are some of the games I tried. Besides the issues I'm having with the Super NES core, things are working well and I look forward to further updates. I'll try out the PlayStation Core next, but most games do not work well with my CRT. Maybe light gun games will work better, we'll see. With the future Saturn Core, I would really love to play Virtual Cop and House of the Dead with the Gun Con. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and this bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you next time.